Dear Skull Kid, What if I told you Clock Town is home to the most sinister beings ever to roam the earth? Sheltered by the invisible cloak of malevolence, demons. Each individual, or should I say creature, has their own dark little secret to add to the poison that ruins Clock Town altogether. I won't let another poor soul be fooled by this false image of a peaceful town anymore, and I want you to do something to stop this. What if I told you Anju, the innocent innkeeper, isn't such a sinless being? Every visitor to the inn provides this monster with the enjoyment of torture. Ever wondered why exactly there's a peephole in the guest bedroom? It's where Andrew can keep a close eye on her visitors to wait until the right time comes to attack. Underneath the inn there's a little room placed beneath the lavatory area. This is the shrine where many lives are taken. Who knows exactly what Andrew does to these poor souls in that room, but no one ever returns back from it. Rumour has it she skins the visitors alive. She would then uses the pieces of flesh she carries away from the little room and place it into a stew that she never refrains from checking every couple of hours or so. The famous stew that gives the inn its name. Stock Pot Inn. I mean, who would suspect such an attractive, angelic woman could carry out these tasks? Many claim that the victims to this sometimes cry out at night for any kind of help to end their misery. They'll even go as far as wanting some paper to use the sharp edges. What if I told you the postman sold his soul for the deal of being able to run as fast and as long as he wanted to? Ever wondered why this man is ever so eager to run and never stop? It's because it's the only thing the postman's ever wanted in life to maintain his deal. He must sacrifice a living body to a giant creature every full moon. It's also said that he keeps a passageway behind his closet that provides the postman a way of accessing the horrible beast with the dead carcass of an unfortunate identity. Andrew suspected the postman of taking Kathy away from her, although lately she's been gassing on about receiving letters from her beloved husband. Although the postman specializes in writing letters, could her suspicions be correct? What if I told you the only reasons the guard don't allow children to leave the town is because of Mr. Barton? You're probably wondering what exactly he is doing keeping children from leaving the town. Well, the answer is simple, is it not? He uses the liver of children as a special payment to Romani in Crimea to use in the Chateau Romani, hence why it's named Chateau Romani, as Romani is the child of the pair and it's made from children's liver. It's the only reason Mr. Barton receives so many customers, and without the special milk, his poor bar will be taken away from him. What does he do with the rest of the body, I hear you say? Well, he gives it to the Gorman brothers, who proceed to cook them on the open fire found near their tents, if you ever dream of visiting them. I mean, where else are two ill-mannered people going to find a source of food? I'm afraid I must stop there, as there's so many sinister secrets to cover that this letter will be too far to fit in the letterbox. As you can see, this town is beyond repair and needs another way of being exterminated. I want you, Skull Kid, to steal the mask of Majora from the Happy Mask Serum Show, even if he makes it through the town and use its almighty power to end the corruption of this repugnant place for once and for all. Then maybe, just maybe, there'll be room for a new clock town to thrive. I'd give special orders to keep myself safe from the destruction, but you see, as a mayor, I have my own secrets that I need to be free from. Secrets that tear me apart from inch to inch. Please don't let anything get in the way of this plan, else it will be the only chance this possessed place will have of becoming somewhat normal again. That will be all. I hope you plan this well, because it will be my final request. I hope it is for the best, after all. Mayor Gotola.